Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have new throw flashlight from Workos. It's TD01 with SFT40 LED. It was kindly sent to me by Workos themselves, so big thanks to them. Link will be in video description. Hello friends, today we have Workos throw a flashlight, it's TD01, let's first see the box, it says throw 1039 meters and 2200 lumens, max. It uses SFT40 LED, 6600 6, Kelvin, it's a set, black and the model. Here on the back you have specifications, runtimes, throw, candela and lumen. And it's a paper box on top. Here we have magnetic opening case. Inside we have manual. We have lanyard, spear o-rings and charging cable, it's USB-C. Here we have information that we have to remove the protecting papers. And here we also have the chart for echo, low, medium, high and turbo lumens. You can pause if you need. And what we have here, it's in different languages, how to use it, and etc, etc. So now let's put those back. Sorry for the noise, and let's see the flashlight, how it looks. It's a nice flashlight, not very big and not EDC, still. Very nice flashlight with nice optics. Inside we have SFT40, as I said before. We have quite aggressive knurling, a bit of cooling fins, and one here. We have plastic button. Charging port for USB-C. No complaints about the port. Closes very nice, secure. And do not open accidentally. Here on the back we have another button which turns the flashlight on. And we have the tail cap. With the spring. We have the battery included, 21700, one battery, 5000 milliamperes. And also you can unscrew here. And this one, this side is a bit thicker. This one is thinner. And spring also here, very nice to see. Let's put all back together. Yeah. So that's the look of the flashlight. Now let's talk about the UI. So UI is quite simple. It's a tactical flashlight. So it has forward switch, meaning that 
if you half press it, it will turn on. And if you want to lock, you have to press it firmly. One time again, and it will turn off. After you turn on the flashlight, you can change modes. It has old memory, eco, low, medium, high. Then it goes to eco. So you have to double press for turbo from any mode. And turbo is not memorized. You can access turbo from this button. If you hold the button, it will go like in to other mode and there are only two modes so you start always on turbo and one click back always on turbo and back three press gives you strobe and that's it nothing special easy to use Let's go to normal modes. Yeah, that's the UI. And now decided to show you the runtime graphs. So here on the screen are the runtime graphs. And sadly, this flashlight does not have stabilization. I don't like it because it's a thrower and it stabilizes at approximately 500 lumens and this is too little for the flashlight of this type yeah so that was the runtime graphs and if you have questions about them ask me in the comments i will answer you and now let's see how this bad boy performs in the dark so see you in item shots
hope you enjoyed watching my review so some final opinion about it and a bit of talk yeah so the flashlight is as it is i like that it has tactical mode tacti tactical possibility of modes and you can use it on turbo always or you can use it simply as normal flashlight i like that it has three lens and a big battery i mean 21700 battery is big for this kind of flashlight everything is good except one thing is the fed driver and what it means it is not stabilized so after the battery goes down you get less brightness and that's a big no for me as for the throwers i prefer only stabilized throwers even i got 3x21d from convoy and i switched the driver for the stabilized one it's 18 amperes but it's at least stabilized so i think that workers have to work on this flashlight and offer us maybe a possibility with the stabilized brightness stabilized output yeah and nothing more bad about this flashlight i think it's a great flashlight just needs a bit of work yeah it's kind of small not edc but small flashlight that you can carry around it does not take a lot of space also i would like to see a case for this flashlight as the head is quite big and i don't i wouldn't like to damage it yeah so that's it ui is quite simple battery life is good but the civilization issue uh, it's meh for me yeah so let me know your thoughts let me know your opinion about this if you have it if you want it and for now that's it guys thanks for watching and see you in next review goodbye